A suspect accused of drunk driving, running over a man and woman, and driving off is walking free today. He only spent one night in jail. Deja Knight shows us the suspect's lengthy criminal background and what the family plans to do to try to get him back behind bars. He just left her laying in the road like trash. Amy Blair is dealing with her parents' horrific injuries after troopers say Daniel Sinna was drunk, crashed into their motorcycle, and took off. Charged with two felony DUIs, hit and run, driving under suspension, and a drug charge, Sinna spent one night in the Hill Finkley Detention Center, something Blair and her family say is unjust. He ran and left them in the road and just got out with no real consequences at all. Sunday morning, Sinna's bond was set at 25000 on the drug charge. Later that day, bond was set for a little over $56,000 on the other charges. According to court records and state law enforcement, Sinna has a lengthy criminal background with drug charges, driving under suspension, and a prior DUI. State Representative Peter McCoy says generally bond amounts are up to the discretion of the judges. But in some cases, bond is set before a suspect's criminal past catches up to him, meaning prior records don't always make it to the judge in time. That's something McCoy wants to change. Part of that bill had to do with giving these judges access to all these records, even if it happened a day before. The bill would keep repeat offenders off the streets. Something called a bond revocation motion could also put repeat offenders back in jail, even after they've bonded out. You know very quickly once somebody's reoffended, and a prosecutor who's on top of their caseload will know that this guy is a threat to the community and a threat to our families, and he'll file that bond revocation motion and get that person into court as soon as possible. I called Solicitor Wilson to see if she plans to file that bond revocation motion. She has not called me back yet. The investigation of the accident is still pending. Senna's court date for now is in December.